Hello and welcome back. This is going to be another addition to the ET ship build. Um, today we're going to be going over how to wire up the outboard engine bells. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, I wanted to show you all the prefab and pre primed and pre light blocked engine bells. Um, these are all made up and ready to go in, and they've already been pre-whitened so I've got the uh, so I can get as much bounce light as I can in here I might touch these up a little bit more but they're pretty much done and then I pre-drilled all the holes for the wiring as well so because that's what we're gonna get on to be doing today is doing some of the wiring for these and uh, so yeah let's, let's move on to the next step I'm gonna switch over to the bench cam and I'll show you how I'm gonna get one of these prep for wiring okay so we're here on the bench cam now, uh, what we're going to first do is, let me bring you up to speed. I'm going to actually even zoom in on this a little bit. Um, so let me come on in down on the spot here and we'll get a little better view. So, with this engine bell, basically um, there's two very small holes um, that are right in the bottom area here. You can probably see them off one. There's one on that side. Now on both of these, what we're going to do is we need two wires to power the LED. So basically I already did a look at how much wire I was going to need to get into the engine band itself and make a good connection point. And I figured that I would need at least a good six, maybe even seven inches of lead uh, prior to even what I would wire in to make the connection points here. So what I ended up doing was I went outside and I put this in and I pulled my six inches across and I went there, you know, and that, that gave me my dimension for the extra wire that's going to come inside the model and be wired afterwards. So then I still needed to make up the extra distance between here. So in this case, I held my six inch mark. I'm going to go pull a little extra and allow for some bend to get in at least somewhere in this neighborhood as far as wire goes. So I, I've got the ruler off the side here and it's almost another six inches. So I could say safely if I pulled 12 inches of wire, uh, that'll give me enough to get all the way into the model. And uh, I'll have to do this uh, twice in order to make a good connection point. And I know I'm going to have a little extra, but it's okay because I'd rather have a little more when it comes to wiring this kind of stuff than be uh, a little light on the wire because I want to have a little extra room inside. I still need to, um, uh, we'll still need to solder on a resistor onto each one of these LEDs when I go to make them up. So there's the, the basic, the wire setup. And then over here, I'm going to have, here's where it's going to go through. And I haven't completely perfected the method yet, but I'm hopeful that I can slide these in, or I might even have to do them prior and just send them in right now. Sorry about getting out of frame there. Here, hold on. Let me, uh, see how the fit they look a little tight maybe from all the painting I might have to open these up a little bit more so maybe we'll uh, take a little short break and I'll I'll hole out one of these a little bit deeper this one made it just the other one needs a little uh, little fix so I got it that way can I get it this way? Gonna be harder, but I can get it. So now I'm gonna slide it through the holes it was meant to be coming through. And the I can already see these are gonna need to be also opened up a little more. Okay, well let me come back. Uh, just give me a sec here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the holing. Uh, I went ahead and opened these holes up a little larger. And now you can see that I 
I had to open them up. There's too much paint stuff on there to get the wire to slide through. So now I've got my pre-cut piece of wire. And these will just go right in nice and smooth now. And they can be a little bit on the larger side because there'll still be a lot of room in here once you push the LED up inside here. So there'll be plenty of room. Um, and then what I'm going to also do is I need to open up these holes just a little more as well. Um, because you can see in the imagery that's on there that they actually um, go through these brackets. So I got to be very careful not to push through on these. These are very thin, very small pieces. I could probably even go down a little smaller scale and bitwise, but I'll just use what I got here for now. And open this up just a little bit more. And that's it. So that's the hole. Yeah, I'm going to downsize this bit a little bit. That's a little bit big for these ones. Because I can make these little mounts on the top a little tighter. They don't need to be so uh, large as the drill bit size. But they work perfect for the engine bell. So let me just go through real quick. Okay. So those are going to come up here. I'm going to pull them back a little bit. And then I'm going to feed them through right here. And then these will go and continue on their way into the engine band itself. So these we can just kind of leave a little loose. But that's kind of how you're going to want to do the routing. It's going to go up and go inside the model. And then uh, the same thing on this one. And then See now that they're loose I can wire these one at a time. Or in this case, I'm just going to go right straight through again. I'm going to put that one through. I'm going to come back this way. Slide that one through. And there you go. These ones should have a little more play. There we go. So then that's what, how you want them to look. And then when they're, you can move these wires around once it's all said and done and in place. And then that can, you know, you, they're supposed to have a little bit of bend and a little bit of look. So they'll look something like, like that when they're done. And that's kind of what you're after. So now I'll move on to the next stage, which is going to be wiring these. And if you notice, I have two black wires. So uh, this will be getting a little bit confusing when I get inside the model. But what I'll have to do is when I go for the final hookup, I'll mount the LED. I'll get it inside here. I'll get it all the way back up inside the bell. And then that way it'll produce the widest amount of light. Then when I come in here and I'm inside the engine band and I'm actually inside the model, I'll have to, I'll have to test each one, one at a time, to find out what's positive and what's negative. And then I can put them all together and, you know, uh, build them into the actual engine band itself. Because the engine band's going to be just full of wires. There's a lot of wires going right into there. So I said, let's move on to the next stage uh, and uh, we'll get on to soldering up an LED. Okay, so we're getting ready to solder up an LED and get this into place. Um, so what I've got here is I've got the two leads. And again, we're not worry, worried about anything that has to do with positive and negative yet. Um, because we're going to determine that once we get it inside the model. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to strip the wires back as, as we have always, as I've shown before. I'm going to twist them up a little bit. Go ahead and twist both ends. And in this scenario that we're running into with this setup, I've opted to go with a, uh, this is a wide angle, warm white, but it's more on the whiter side. It's kind of in between a white white and a warm white. So it's like right in the middle, um, kind of what they call a daylight. And it produces a lot of good light um, and a lot of good wide light. So I'm, I'm opting to go with this style setup for, um, for each one.
there's nine of them in here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hand wire this and don't forget to use your pieces of shrink tubing and in this case I'm gonna look I'm gonna cut these down very small the shrink tubing pieces and the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't have a lot of room in between these areas where the lights gonna sit and the actual wires are going to come through so I want to give myself I want to make this pretty tight the connection point uh, where it goes up into the top part of the LED so I'm going to go ahead and slip the shrink tubing over each one and then I'm going to grab one side and I bent it over usual, like I picked a positive side just because it's habit. And I'm going to slide that up kind of as far as I can. And then I'm going to come over to this side, I'm going to do the same. And in this case, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and wire, you know, wire, wire them up both at the same time. Which, if you're more of a beginner, I, I probably would just do one at a time. And then that's how you want that to look. I'm going to stretch them out a little bit. But there, that's that's basically the scenario you want. I'm gonna, let me kind of zoom in on this a little bit. And so that's how you want to kind of have that LED made up in that fashion. And then that way, it'll fit nice and tight up into the uh, pocket of the uh, engine bell. And it'll look, it'll look really good. The farther I can get up in there, the better. So again, I'm going to use my helping hands. I'm going to see if my iron's hot yet. It has been heating up, so I think it's good to go. I'm going to get a little bit of ventilation here. That's something I forgot to talk about in the other... You always want to try to keep yourself well ventilated. I have a small uh, fan over here that I can take the uh, fumes out with. And it's got a little filter on it. So I'm not putting anything outside bad. And basically that's it for the solder joint. I think I can just shut this off for now. Eliminate some of that sound. I'm going to go ahead and cut these loose. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. Now I'm going to get my little pieces of shrink tubing that were on the ends. Because I want to protect those solder joints and that's how you want it to look as far as the makeup goes and that's it I'm gonna close up the shrink tubing a little bit here not too much that's it now when this is all set up I think in this case should be able to freely pull these and I'll just go ahead and start with one side and I'll just keep pulling it until I get it up there kind of makes like a little heart shape when you're uh, pulling them through and once you get up in there I'm gonna see the way they're orienting so I want them to be even coming out of the hole as well so I'm very close right there. That looks very good. So that's how you want to look up just before you're going to get ready to go into makeup for the uh, bell. And what it's going to do is when I get them all the way in there, and I'm hoping that it's close enough. And it just barely, 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 barely makes it. I could even do something else. I'm going to show you a little quick little trick when I run into this situation. Since it's so short, but I got a little bit of room in here, what I end up doing is, I'll pull a little extra, and I'll put a little bend in it, and then I'll go ahead and I'll straighten the zigzag up a little bit, and I'll then I'll refeed the wire back inside. And when I do it this way, and this doesn't always work out. And I'm, ho I'm, I'm just hoping this will go right. And then when you go to leave a little extra, 
and the connection's good, so you don't have to worry about pulling it apart too much. You just don't want to flex it around the LED too much. And then I'm just going to leave it somewhere right around there. And that's what it's going to look like. And so then this will produce a lot of broad light out into the, the venting area, and then this will create a lot of cast light um, to also cast light all the way around the engine. Um, and then you could pull a little of the slack out of it if you want right now. And just pull it up just so it's out of the way and then remember again towards the end have to come back here and I'll have to figure out what's what and it's relatively easy to you uh, to do and now that I'm looking at the wire layout it's probably a little longer than I probably wanted but again I you rather be a little long and be able to maneuver your hands around there and solder it all up because I still have to put an inline resistor in here and uh and do some hookups for the ground so anyway what i what i do to test these out real fast is i'll go ahead and just strip one and you can have the uh resistor on the negative side as well too for this scenario uh especially for testing wise and then let me go grab a resistor and i'm gonna also gonna grab a little bit of power so we can test it against a little 9 volt and we will see what we got so again I don't know what sides what so I'm just gonna pick one I'm gonna go ahead and solder the solder the resistor on there actually I'm not going to solder I'll just leave it loose I can even you could you could also mark these now if you found out what's positive and what's negative so then I'm just going to take it, I'll lay it down, and then I'll just test it and I'll see if I got continuity through it and see if it's making connection. And there it is. So I got it the first shot. So that's, you know, this is the plus side. So I actually, I actually got it to go right off the bat. And then again, you see how much cast light, I, and if, even though I got really bright lights in here, um, you might be able to see that it's throwing down some pretty good light out of there. So that's how I'll do it. And then um, this will have to be done uh, in, uh, times nine. So just be prepared. This is a long, it's going to be a long haul to make up all these. But that's basically how you want to make it up. That's how she should look. And we'll move on to there. And I'm going to finish off all nine of them and pre-build them. Then once they're all built, I'll start getting them, you know, I'll push them aside. And I'm going to pre-paint these too. Um, I, I don't know if I've shown this before, but there's also going to be a, there's a ringlet piece that comes with the kit, which is very accurate. And this will be glued in to the uh, inside of the engine bell there, just like that. And then that way the light will be produced all around the little cutouts. And uh, this part right here will be filled in with a piece. I'll cut a piece of uh, clear transparency or um, milky white transparency. So it'll throw a nice good flat diffused effect all the way across. So that's the engine bell built up with the light. And uh, we'll be coming with you with more videos on this model uh, as we progress our way through the build. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.